Welcome back to Chef HM, and today Arthur's showing us how to buy steak. Talk us through it. Okay, well, if you're going out to buy a steak, you don't really know what you're going to get. You don't know who you're buying it from. Can you trust it? So I just really wanted to give some information on what you should be looking for in different types of meat. Because it is a minefield. I mean, I, to be honest with you, when I go into a restaurant, mm. I'll, be, I'll be absolutely honest, I'll look at a menu, a T-bone, a sirloin, a fillet, I've got no idea. I, I kind of know there's a bit of fat on some, mm. less fat on others. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to say it, but I want these guys to throw a pepper sauce over, mm. I'm kind of done. Yeah, yeah. There is a difference, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. This is the steak here that pretty much everybody knows. Which is? Go on, give me a guess. I would say that is rump steak. Sirloin steak. Okay. Sirloin steak is pretty much what you get in most restaurants. It's been well aged, well hung, 28 days hanging yeah. in the fridge usually <laughs> before they okay. sell it. You've got you know, a, a nice covering of fat, not too much. If it's too thick, then the animals have been grassed out too long. You, you need to be buying a, a nice red piece of steak like this. Okay. Okay. Rump steak. So sirloin, rump. Rump. It comes from a slightly different part of the animal, but the same okay. area. What I really want to bring to the attention is the different grain. If you push your finger on these babies, you can feel the different textures. That seems a lot softer. Yeah. Is that right? It seems softer, but it's actually tougher. Is it? That means that this could well have been hung better. Okay. This is, this is more well hung than this piece of meat. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious conversation. It is, it is, with awful <laughs> entendres. Yeah, yes. So, the rump? Yes. Sirloin? Yes. Fillet. You, fillet, okay. Fillet steak. This is the steak that everyone goes, oh, I want to have fillet steak, yeah, lovely. Why do they say that? But the accent, thing about it is, well, you know, they, it's all a bit soft, isn't it? Is it? Is it? The thing about fillet steak is usually eaten by people with dentures, and that's about it. Really? No flavour, particularly. Now, the more flavour inside the meat is because the meat has worked harder. What do you mean? Fillet steak runs on the inside of your lower back okay. on the animal. So the animal bends over, really, it doesn't do very much. It just sort of keeps something in place. These babies power the animal, move it forward. This muscle carries most of its weight. Where's that from? Uh, top of the back. All from the top of the back? No, this one here is from the rump. And, and then literally, uh, what I wanted to bring into the equation was braising steak, okay. which actually has the most flavour but needs more cooking. Uh, is that because it's got more fat running through it? Not particularly, no. It's just the muscles have had to work harder. And the harder they have to work, the tougher it is. What are, what's, what's got the best taste? In your opinion, you've had years as a chef, you know your stuff, what am I going to order? You it, said this is best taste. Yeah, if, if, if you're going to cook a steak a la minute at the minute to put to the table, I'd say the connoisseurs would go with a rump steak. Why? It's better flavour. Better flavour. Mm. Describe the flavour. It's, it's meatier. Actually, it's got a deeper, more intense flavour. Tastes of bl more bloody? More no, 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 meaty. It's different, different flavour. Sirloin steak is safer, it's not as intense, okay? It's okay. slightly softer, right, in, in both texture and flavour. Okay. And the fillet steak, its flavour is relatively non, not really there, but the texture is very, very soft. Okay, and how much would, would, would they cost relatively? Uh, oh, this could be about uh, six to eight pounds. Okay. This could be about two to four pounds. Okay. This could be about four to six pounds. Okay. And this could be about two to three pounds. So basically, for two to three pounds, I can have a great meal. A great meal, yes. exactly. So you've told me the good things yeah. about these steaks, mm. and there are numerous things. Is there anything bad about these various yeah, steaks? Yeah, you've got to be careful. I mean, if you're looking at any sort of dark brown flecks, um, also the smell, um, it really shouldn't have very much smell at all. You smell that, really. It doesn't smell like Nothing, anything. Not any kind of aroma, anything. I mean, one of the biggest things that you can listen to is your body. Right. If you open it up, if in doubt, throw it out. It's a very, very old rule. But if you're not sure about it, don't eat it. It's your body okay. telling you not to do that. But I'll tell you what, quality meat is easy to find in many butchers and also supermarkets. But I just want to show you something. We've got really good quality meat here. And it's so good, you can eat it raw. Oh, my God. Uh, watch. What, when I get my cow's disease or something? Really? No. Really? This. Check this out. I don't know if I want to eat I'll eat it with you. I'll eat it with you. Basically, that's carpaccio, right? Yet. Exactly. This is what it is. But it needs your olive oil on. So look, it needs olive oil. It needs some salt. You go grab it and I will do this. Okay. Hold on a sec. So I can go to a supermarket. Yep. I can go to a butcher's. There are two in a pack, for yep. example. Mm -hmm. I'll cook one and I'll just eat the other one raw. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to get some kind of neighbors, weird yeah. disease you or like gut rot. No? You know, the thing about it is, is when you cook it, you actually take a lot of the vitamins and minerals away from it. So raw is better. You know I'm a vegetarian, right? <laughs> Not for long. Okay. Yeah. Have a go. Oh, I feel like a werewolf or something here. 
That is disgusting. Actually, that's very, very nice. Good. Good very nice. Good. Very nice. One more piece. Do you guys want to go? Bit of it? Have a go. Very nice. That's good. I mean, it's good olive oil, but nice meat. Great, huh? Mm. Nice. Very good. Well, there you have it. That's Chef HM's guide to buying meat. Check out our other video on how to cook it.